we investigate. Action News reporter Michael Lapardi explains. A stroll across the lawn at the Charlie Frias dog park is supposed to end at this fence. Except if you're a Yorkie named Casey or Sarge. Watch as they easily clear the gaps near the gates. The smaller dogs can get through the gap in the gates. They don't even have to slow down. You know, they can run straight through. The park near Tropicana and Decatur has two gates. All my guys are rescues. Always. But dog owner Fred DeBosch says they both have gaps along the side, allowing the little ones to escape, and they have. It's just luck that nobody's been had a dog hit and killed yet. Fred says he's seen his share of close calls with cars on a park access road over the last few months. It was one of your dogs who had actually gotten through and almost got hit. We had a puppy that ran through through the outer gate, the inner gate. Luckily, the dog was not hurt, but Fred started to do some barking of his own. He says he emailed Clark County twice about the problem, but didn't get a response. That's when he turned to Action News. We need to block that gate down to a smaller opening. We wanted to know exactly how large this gap is. This gap here measures to about four inches, which may not seem like a lot, but is enough for a small dog to get through. What is your biggest concern out of all of this? that the dog will get killed. We reported the problem to Clark County. Within a few hours after our visit, the county says a staff member fixed the gaps. So we went back with our tape measure to check. Sure enough, both openings were cut by half down to about two inches. They do a nice job on the park. It's a great place for the dogs to come and socialize with other dogs. Fred says he just wants to make sure the pups are safe. The county blames the gaps on issues with the fence hinges. And despite what Fred told us, the county says it has not received any official complaints about the fence, but they say a park employee does check the facilities routinely. Michael Loparty, Channel 13, Action News. All right, if you have a problem in your neighborhood, let us know about it. Email 13investigates at ktnv.com and don't forget your phone number.